Throws it short. Makes the catch. The Colts were in a tough spot, but boy, did they come through. So Madden 10 came out on August 13th, 2009. And I got to say, this is a pretty unmemorable Madden for me. Now, you may feel different about it, which is great. That means you really love this game. But for me, this Madden fell into a weird scenario because it was released on so many different platforms on PS2, PS3, 360. And it caught me kind of in limbo because this was the year I actually ended up getting the PS3 for Christmas when I was a kid. So I didn't get this year's Madden on PS2. So this game, I did not play too much. Now, Madden 11 is a different story, obviously, because I had a PS3 and then I played that one a whole bunch. But Madden 10 is unique to me because I feel like they took a lot of steps forward, but at the same time, it really didn't. And you can tell that they were kind of stretched thin releasing the game on so many different platforms. Now, graphically, the game still looks pretty okay, but the play style of the game is super, super slow. And I cannot emphasize this enough. The gameplay is super, super slow, even on all Madden. The running feels like you're in quicksand and it's awful. Now let's talk about the cover for a second. So Madden 10 has Troy Polamalu and Larry Fitzgerald on the cover. Now this is obviously a nod to Super Bowl 43, which was between the Cardinals and the Steelers. And the Steelers, of course, won that. This was also the first time we had two people on the cover of Madden. And I gotta say, I didn't like the cover back 10 years ago and I still don't love it now. For some reason, it just doesn't draw me in. And I just don't like having two people on the cover. I don't know why, I just don't. Now, Madden 10 did have a lot of features that we see today. Obviously, as franchise mode, the play now mode. But it still has mini games, which we don't see that often in the new Maddens. Because now they just focus on online stuff. And I don't touch the online stuff at all because it's just not for me. I don't really enjoy it for sports games. But here in Madden 10, we did have a mini game. And it was kind of like a gauntlet mini game. And it wasn't awful. I played it real quick. It's not all that fun i still like the mini games that you'd play back in like say madden 05 when you do a franchise and you can help boost your your running backs abilities or your receivers abilities or your quarterbacks or, or what have you and there also is a franchise mode which is pretty good and it's way more self-explanatory than the new maddens the last like i would say three or four maddens you got to go through like three different hoops to make sure you want to do a fantasy draft and have multiple people draft. Like I said before, I don't do online stuff in Madden or really sports games in general. So me and my friends, when we play, we do offline drafts. And I feel like sports games, especially Madden in the past five years or so, have just really gone away from it. And they just really stripped features from it. And they make it more difficult to try to figure out how to get multiple people to play in an offline franchise. But here in Madden 10, it is super simple. You just pick all the teams you want, you click fantasy draft and bada boom, bada bing, you're in, you're drafting and it's all good. I went through and played a few different games with a few different quarterbacks and I gotta say the game doesn't play all that great. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it feels like you're running in quicksand and it kind of sucks. And another thing too, you can't change your camera angle. You're just kind of that low angle at quarterback. It's kind of hard to see your, your peripherals. The passing isn't great you have to throw bullet passes every single time just to get a ball to complete now the first game i played i kept trying to touch pass like the newer maddens i the last like i don't know four maddens i've had this five maddens that like now i'm just so used to that now trying to put a touch on a ball you know a corner route or whatever i was trying to do that or even like a dump off you don't want to throw a complete bullet you, you know you want to somewhere in between that to hit a guy like on a crossing route especially if it's a long drag or something like that. And I was trying to do that, I kept missing. I was like, what the hell? I, I know Hasselbeck's not that bad in this game. Well, you just have to throw bullet passes all the time. You have to press the button hard. And that's just how it is. There's no touch pass. There's no perfect pass. There's no whatever in Madden 10. It's just, you click the button as hard as you can. And hopefully the game gets it there. And that's all you got. That's all you get. So it's kind of frustrating coming from a new Madden to play that, but it's really not all that bad. I, I think the camera angle is more annoying than the passing itself once you figure it out. Now, the best move to use in this game is this the truck or the hit stick, whatever you want to call it on offense. Now, the spin moves or the stiff arms in this Madden don't work all that well, like how the, the juke move in Madden 20 is completely deadly. I end up breaking a decent amount of tackles once I figure that out. And even some you shouldn't break, I end up breaking with LT and he runs over a couple people and scores the touchdown. I think I did that a couple times when I played with him. But man, I, if the game played just a little bit quicker, like a newer Madden, and it was just a little more elusive, 
the game has actually held up quite well for being 10 years old. The game could definitely play and look a lot worse being 10 years old. Now maybe it helps that it's on a better generation than PS2 because PS3 graphically was a huge step up as we all know. So stuff hasn't aged as bad as like the PS2 to PS3 era because high definition and all that. Overall, Madden 10 isn't a bad game even 10 years later. I can't believe this game is 10 years old. That's honestly kind of startling to me. It kind of shocked me when I really thought about this video idea. I was like, holy crap, it's been 10 years already. Oh, before I forget, the announcing in this game is just god awful. It is so choppy and lame. It's just bad 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 the presentation of the game is pretty bad it's very generic and everything that is spliced together is so choppy we should be in for a good one new orleans squares off against seattle but i think that's gonna wrap up this video that's madden 10 in a nutshell it's very slow the passing's not great the camera angles aren't great and the announcing is horrible but if you can get past some of those things graphically it still doesn't look too bad it is a very playable game even today and if you're nostalgic like i said go back and play it why not thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it